So hey you guys, your girl my Michelle. Welcome back to my channel, period. Y'all already know how we do it. Oh, it's like 2 a.m. Oh. It's like 2 a.m. So I'm not finna be like super loud how y'all like used to me being. It. I don't know why, but around this time I get bored and I'll be like, you know what? Let me just be productive with my time and let me make a video. My closet door is open. I'm about to go close it because dead ass that shit scares the fuck out of me. As you can tell from the title, I'm not too sure what I'm going to title it. But from the title, you could tell that this video is a story time. Um, I just want to make a disclaimer. The person that this story time is about, I don't have no issues with, no animosity towards. I'm not upset at her or none of this, okay? I'm really, really not. I'm really, really not. Um, yeah, like, it's just somebody that I dealt with and we, like, moved on. It's okay. It's over. Um, yeah. And it's just an experience. It's kind of funny to me now, like... I don't hold it against her or over her head or anything and yeah it's it's perfectly fine but basically i just want to share my experience in case y'all been through something similar you know i like to relate to you guys a lot so so if you guys watch my last story time you know that i was in a relationship with a female and i mentioned that we had a little issue before we started working on things again. Um, so this is the issue. This is what happened. You know, some of you guys were wondering and things like that. So, so we get to school, right? Mind you, when we get to school, we were not together at all. We broke up sometime of like April, May of 2019 and we just basically enjoyed our summer alone, single. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I was being a simp, a cry baby. Like, I was blowing her phone up every chance I got. Damn her. Like, I didn't care. Like, I was on some shit like that. I don't care. I want her. I don't care. I don't give I was, look, and the only way she got me to leave her the fuck alone, she had to block me on everything. It was bad, you guys. Like, it was so, so bad. And... So I had to like force myself to move on, but I didn't like get in another relationship or nothing. And then when we got to school, she was in a situation with another girl, right? But the girl didn't go to the school. And because I wanted her, I didn't give a fuck. Like, yeah, like I really didn't care that she was talking to me. I did not care. I said, I'm still going to try and talk to her. So we started like being cool again. And we had like a conversation one day about something that happened on campus. It's nothing related to us. We had a conversation one day, right? And we started being cool. And then slowly but surely, I just started, like, making my move. Trying to get her to kiss me. And stay the night with me in my room. You know what I'm saying? And do things with me. And I'm not even going to lie. She would do it. And so, like, that just, I just took a mental note of that. Like, every time she would do something like that. And I just took a mental note. Like, oh, yeah, you still like her. You still me are you willing to give me a second chance because if you really was the bitch or the girl you wouldn't be doing this and then come to find out she didn't even want the girl she kept like telling me like she didn't want her like she didn't like her she didn't fuck with her all this stuff so i was like all right cool you're starting to like really like fuck with each other heavy 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 right so one day i asked that i was like do you talk to other girls and she was like, yeah. She was like, I do talk to other girls. And I was like, oh, shit. I just, like, wanted to know, like, before I got, like, too serious, like, what was going on? So I started asking her, like, how many bodies you got? Like, how many people you had sex with after me? Like, how many bodies you got? Do you talk to anybody at this school? Like, do you got a girlfriend? Like, are you single, single? Like, I started asking everything. Like, I want to know everything. But the one thing that stood out to me the most was the fact that she told me that she talks to other girls on campus. Now, now, I wasn't super duper mad about it or anything. Because, I mean, we're grown. Hey, I talked to other 
extra papers. I was talking to other people back home, whatever the case is. But it was just like, okay. Okay, so now I gotta like watch out for females like on campus. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like now I really gotta like lock her in, strip her down, and keep her with me. You know what I'm saying? That's mine. I'm doing too much talking. Let me let me speed this up. So basically, let's fast forward, right? We had a conversation one night while she was sitting like in my room. And I asked her, I was like, um, you know, I don't mind you talking to other girls and things like that. I said, but please don't go chill with them. No. I don't want you in no girls dorm room, no girls apartment. Don't go chill with no females, no none of that, because who knows what the hell is going on? Why y'all chilling? Y'all could be kissing, freaking touching. <clears throat> Mm -mm. No, 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 no. That type of stuff mess up my nerves. Is it just me? Like, is my bracelet too loud? That type of stuff just messes with my nerves. Like, it makes me really angry. It makes me really angry. So, you guys know, sometimes, like, I got, like, really bad, like, um, like, anger problems. Like, I've come to terms with that. I have really bad anger problems. And so I just wanted to avoid that. I wanted this time around for us to be talking to be a better situation. And I couldn't completely tell her to stop talking to other girls because I was still talking to other people. I wasn't chilling with them though or seeing them or freaking them or nothing. 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 I wasn't doing it. So I was like, if I'm not doing it, I don't want you to do it either. So she said, okay, she wouldn't do it. She did it. So basically, you guys can see where their story is going. So let's fast forward one day, right? I don't remember if we was arguing or what happened, right? But we wasn't talking this whole day. We wasn't really texting. Something happened. We was arguing about. So I was like, all right, that's it. I just want my friends to the gym because there was a basketball game at the gym. And lo and behold, guess who's at the gym too watching the basketball game? Her and her friends. But I'm not even gonna give her a name. I'm just gonna keep calling her her. I don't even care. So it was her and her friends, and we like made eye contact a few times, but we didn't speak to each other. I didn't go over there and talk to her. She didn't talk to me neither. She didn't talk to me neither. So we used to do little things like I used to ask her to go to the library and stuff like that with me, right? So I texted her like. Can you go to the library with me like um after like after the game and things like that we didn't speak either but i remember texting her earlier that day asked her to go to the library with me or i might have texted her after the game or something just because i knew like to that day wasn't a good day but i still wanted to be around her so i texted her and asked her she's like yeah so me and my friends after the game, like everything cool, everything chilling. We go find something to eat. I think we seen like some of our friends chill with them for a little bit. And we get to walking back to our dorm building. The building where we sleep at, you know, where our dorms is. And uh honey, I'm walking. And I see her walking. You know, she walking by herself and she got her book bag on. So I look at her. Because it's not not too many people outside, it's just me, my friends, and it's just her. I'm like, I'm not about to act like I don't see her again. Like, I'm mean, like, girl, I didn't see you all throughout the day, and we didn't speak to each other. You played a little bit. We played in each other's face. Cool, but you're not about to play with me right here, right now. Where are you going? That's exactly what I said. Where are you going? Grab that and everything. And she was like, oh, now you want to talk to me? Or now you worried about me? Hey, don't try to change the subject. Where is you going? She told me something. Why does it matter? Yo, when she hit me with the why does it matter? I swear on my life I knew it was up. I swear on my... Y'all, I swear I really knew what was up. Because trust me when I say you got to study what people say when they trying to avoid like some like avoid telling you something or even when they lying you gotta study it and she says that she a lot a lot especially when we used to break up in the past and i used to ask her about stuff she's always like, why does it matter you're not my girlfriend we know how they got rich like what you mean why does it matter like where are you going i thought you're supposed to go to the library with me 
You got your book bag on. Where you going? She tried to be slick and say she was going to the library. Okay. So, I was like, are you going with another girl? Are you going to go see another girl or something? And she was like, yeah. She was like, yeah, but it's not like that. Or she said something like that. I didn't want to hear that shit no more after that. Oh, I keep cussing. I didn't want to hear that no more. Like, she kind of kept talking. I, like, listened a little bit. We probably stood out there for another, like, minute or two. I said, F it. <laughs> F it. I'm out. Like, I'm done, bro. Like, I'm done, done, bro. Like, I'm not doing this no more. Like, F this. So, I went back in my dorm room. I went back in my building. And... I'm not even gonna lie to you, I was heated. I f that room up. Yo, I was blowing her phone up like, you're still gonna go knowing that I'm upset? How disrespectful, bitch. And you really gotta, and you really gotta, really, 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 really gotta run with me. Now you really gotta fight me. Now you really gotta run with me, bro. Like, she keep hitting me with, I'm really not trying to argue. And then I would keep sending her, keep sending her messages, whole paragraphs. Okay, yo, if that's how you feel, cool. I'm like, <sighs> I got it. Stop, I stopped texting. I said, F this, like, F it. I don't know if she texted me the day after or the morning after or a few days after. I really, really, really don't remember. But I remember my mirror. I used to have this mirror that set up, like, on my windowsill. I punched the out that mirror like I said, bop. And I broke my screen, my phone screen. I knocked all it over on my dresser. I was pissed because I really wanted to fight, man. Like, damn. And I didn't know who the girl was. So, like, oh my God. Y'all, I used to be so violent back then. And I used to really just be, like, crazy back then. I don't act like that anymore. I'm very much sane. I'm very much calm. And I'm very much reasonable. So... Yeah, don't judge me. I know you guys are probably wondering, like, what happened after that? Maybe, like, a day or two, maybe three days after, we agreed to talk and have a conversation about what happened. And I'm be honest, I don't even really remember what she said she went to the girl apartment for or what they did or what was going on. I don't remember. I don't know. I don't really care no more. This story is, like, entertainment at this point. Like, it's funny. So I don't know, but I was screaming at her because we met up in the laundry room. I was screaming at her. Like, I was like, you don't even know how to love somebody because you don't love yourself and you don't know what you're doing and like you're fucking retarded like because you're doing. I felt really bad though. I'm not even going to lie because she started to like cry a little bit while I was yelling at her. That was out of pocket. You know, somebody could have walked past, they could have like, been it all in the business or she could have been easily embarrassed but i was just like you know acting out of emotion you know i'm sorry repulsive yeah maybe like a month or two later i don't even know how long later i ended up getting back with her and that's that story time i hope you guys found this entertaining funny hilarious relatable if anything uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Comment in the comment section down below what type of videos you guys want. I have stories for days. I will tell more stories. Okay, I got y'all. But if y'all would like to see some other content from me, let me know. Come on. Peace. Peace.